Okay, it's uh, Roland from the Ishmar Shakers, and I'm uh, uh, letting you know, or just bringing you up to date as to what the latest uh, work that we've been doing here on uh, the acreage. And so, as you can see, we have moved the chickens from over there. So we did this this morning, uh, Patricia and I, and they are now in this area uh, where the trailer used to be uh, last year and uh, the chickens seem to be enjoying it because they've got uh, brand new uh, access to grass that they never had before and uh, yeah it's a little bit different space and so we'll be moving them around uh, probably from here to the space over there or over here in the next uh, few weeks or uh, they'll, they'll spend a week at, in each of the areas um, and we have all of the room uh, to the front of our property where we can actually rotate them through. So probably by the time we get back to uh, later on in the summer, we may have them uh, back in this uh, area again. Um, but it'll take a while before we actually move around uh, as we go. Um, this afternoon, we're also going to be working on the uh, uh, preparation of the beds. Um, so I've gone through um, yesterday and did broad forking. Uh, so the four rows that were not touched before are broad forked. Uh, Patricia and uh, Rachel um, brought in um, topsoil and compost and put that on the top of that uh, outside row. And they also um, went through where the chickens were previously and uh, just made the pathways uh, a little bit uh, clearer than they were before. Um, as you can see, the strawberries that we planted earlier are now, um, they're actually looking pretty, pretty well um, acclimatized. They've taken to the change. And in between the strawberries, we should be starting to see, at some point in the future, the tops of the asparagus uh, coming up. Because that's where we planted the asparagus plants. And of course, we'll have the occasional volunteer carrots, apparently. Why carrots? I don't know, because we didn't plant carrots here, ever. Uh, this looks like a wild carrot. And the chickens did seem to appreciate carrots before, but now they're not paying any attention to the one that I just gave them. Let's see if that makes any difference. Didn't seem to. Do you not like carrots anymore? What's the problem here? Oh, there we go. Somebody went after it, but didn't seem to care for it. I don't know. Kind of funny. Anyway, so what we'll be doing this afternoon is bringing topsoil onto the uh, the three inside rows and the half row that uh, is still out there. And then um, at some time uh, in the near future, uh, planting in these. Um, it, it turns out that we are still not free of frost. Uh, there's a frost advisory for tonight. Um, so we're going to have to bring in any plants that uh, are a little bit um, um, susceptible frost to frost. Uh, so the plants that are up on top of the deck uh, of the house are going to have to come in one more night. Uh, it's going to go down to one degree or so uh, Celsius. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, mid-May. Well, it's later in May. We're at the 22nd, 23rd, something like that. Um, anyways, we also have to bring over the the, the posts, so the deterrents for uh, um, hawks and all that kind of stuff. So we'll get to it, and we'll keep you up to date as to what we're doing. Hang on.
Finished another few hours at the end of the day to work on our garden. So we've got now three rows out of ten done. Wow, so, more than that well, because we only have to do now one and a half on this side and four and a half on that side. So we're getting there. So definitely this weekend, I think we can probably start planting some stuff. The potatoes definitely need to be planted. And we can start the beans. And then in here we're going to have all the squashes and stuff so we get those started. So they're all underground so if there's any frost we should be good. So yeah, it takes a bit. We're not young anymore and so it, we get Slow. tired fast. It's slower but uh, at least we've got stamina to uh, do some every day and, uh, and work at this. So yeah, so I put the cricket compost on after broad fork done all of this so we'll see how that grows this year how that works yeah so those of you who haven't seen the cricket compost yet it's really fine so this is the waste from a cricket farm and here you can see it 
looks like a very fine sand. It's kind of a bit of a yeah, acrid kind of smell to it. But it's very clean. It's got nothing else in it other than the cricket waste and maybe pieces of their bodies, etc. Which is all just limestone. So high in calcium, carbon, and oxygen. Calcium carbonate basically is what limestone is. Uh, sometimes CAH, CO3, so hydrogen in there. Um, and again, just to finish, the uh, chickens seem to be enjoying their new digs quite, quite well. What? Yeah, she did. And I think we'll, we'll leave you there. Talk to you soon. Bye.